Oh, I should put my little brand on there. That's okay. Oh, well. And three, and two, and one. Let's just double check that it is actually live. Got it. Okay, cool. This video is now live. That's kind of cool. All right, we'll give it a few seconds here for people to tune in. Let me just mix my drink. I put out a I put out a yeah, notice for everybody. Um, so I'm an I'm a liquor guy. I am drinking uh, ginger ale, blue caraco, and um, whipped cream vodka. Holy shit, that sounds good. It Can I swear? Delicious. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're we're not. Uh, we're we're rated M for mature. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right, uh, all right, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, thank you for tuning in. If you are here with us, uh, hello, and welcome to the first ever episode of um, the Drink and Draw. Uh, here with uh, myself, Sketching the Beast, and today's co-host is the real Zim Zimma. What's going on, Zim? What up, what up? Much I'm man. good. Everything's good in the house. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, dude. I um, So the whole purpose of this, for those of you um, who I haven't talked to about it yet, the whole purpose of this is literally just for fans to interact and for us to have a little bit of fun and um, and do some doodles, really. So, um, so this is the first episode, and it's going to be a little bit, I'm sure, tough and go. And, and, and you know, I've already got my first drink ready. Um, I'm drinking a, uh, a liquor drink. I have a ginger ale with uh, blue Caraco and some uh, whipped cream vodka. Um, and Zim, what are you drinking, my friend? Right now, I'm having a, uh, a mini version of the famous Modelos. These are called Modelitos. They're uh, spent fluid ounces as opposed to your regular, what is it, nine or ten that they usually sell in a bottle. So I got a, yeah. quite a few of these, and I'm ready, man. All right. <laughs> awesome. All right, let me just share this out real quick. Probably going to spam some people, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I can't share it to a few groups because they're rated uh, PG-13, but... Give me one sec. Yeah. All right, cool. So, um, so Zim, uh, so we have decided, me and Zim have decided that we're going to do this week, we're going to do with characters from the, um, the DC universe, uh, or, uh, Batman universe, I should say more specifically. And, uh, Zim, he has decided that he's going to draw Red Hood. Is that right, Zim? Oh, you're muted, buddy. Why is it muted? Zim, you there? Yeah, sorry about that. I had, had a call. Can you hear me? Oh, oh, yeah, no problem. No problem. Yeah, I had a call, man. I had to drop it, so that's what happened. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Oh, it's, it's annoying. No, we're good. Sorry, man. I'm, my fault. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so as I was saying, Zim's going to draw Red Hood. Um, I myself am going to do a quick roulette here. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do Scarecrow. Because I think that'd be a lot of fun. I haven't done Scarecrow. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Yeah, I'm going to do Scarecrow. Because, um, I've actually never drawn him. And he's a very unique and interesting character. Um, let me just find it. A decent reference. I like the Batman Arkham Arkham Universe version. He's he's the coolest one. Have you ever played that game? Zim. Yeah, sir. Have you? Yeah, here you have. Oh, here's my pencil. All right, let me let's get started. I am good. I am. I'm here. I'm ready. Awesome, dude. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started, man. Hopefully, you can hear me. Am I clear enough for you? Sweet man, definitely about to do that now. Cool. No, I I could hear you loud and clear, bro. All right, cool, cool. And uh, everybody, feel free to uh, tune in, uh, ask us some questions. 
Um, I mean, we can we can start it off. Uh, I'll start off with the questions. Zim, Zim uh, as my um, as my my co-host for today, uh, we'll start off with with some questions towards you, man. H how is everything? How is life? Well, how's the how's the uh, the art life going for you? Uh, everything is grand. I mean, uh, you know, it's a, it's a big uh, downer with what's going on in 2020, but being an artist, you know, that really doesn't bother me. Uh, th yeah, right. Thankfully, I could say that I've been, yeah, man, I've been healthy all year. Um, that's good to hear, dude. Everything has been great. Yeah, as far as, yeah, that's good, man. Good news. As far as uh, my art life, well, I'm trying to hone down on my niche here and um eventually just uh like i said earlier you know uh kind of redoing my myself a little bit and and uh, heading toward a new direction man a more professional look i i would say so uh, stuff is great man can't wait that's us awesome, dude that's good to hear man now uh um, yourself Talk, talk, talk to us a little bit about, uh, you know, what's, what's your niche? What, what do you, what do you, what do you fit yourself into? You consider yourself a comic artist or more just, um, like, um, I guess what there's, there's tons of different categories, I guess you could say. Where do you, where do you feel you fit in with that? Yeah. I mean, for, for those of you who like, uh, for you who like putting pins in, uh, into labels, uh, you know, I, I would consider myself a, you, you know what I'm talking about though? You know? Oh yeah, no, I, I got but, you. Yeah. Yeah. There, it seems I mean, like, um, there, there's genres there, and sub genres for everything. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it seems like, uh, the community is, is oftentimes very split, uh, by like silly stuff, like, you know, different styles or, or, or um, uh, you know what I mean? Universes or whatever. Yeah, I, I get you. Let me give me one second here. Yeah, so if I had to put myself, I would consider myself a uh, a nostalgic fan artist. Uh, okay. Simply because, yeah, man. Simply because you know I draw what I like, and most of the stuff that I like is stuff that I grew up with, man. You know. Yeah. Um, I. I, I started wanting to become a comic book artist when I was in high school. Uh, definitely love the uh, the old school 90s uh, comic art, you know, uh, specifically that from like from the image, you know, image style, I would say. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, you got Jim and got, you know, uh, all them do image when I first started. I'm definitely gravitated towards that art so i kind of apply that and put that into my uh, nostalgic art that i do man very cool man or very cool as much as i can you know i try to yeah yeah and i i actually um so i i saw a recent post um you did and i i, I would sh i would pop it up here but i have no idea how to use this yet <laughs> <laughs> um, for, for those of you who don't know where you, I'm using, um, I'm using <laughs> StreamYard for the first time ever. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little different, definitely a little different. I use, I usually just stream on my own, but anyways, um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I saw that recent, um, the, um, gargoyle you did. That was sick, dude. That was very sick. Oh yeah. That very, very awesome job with the watercolors and stuff, man. I, I would almost say, dude, watercolors, that's like, that's the watercolors are tough, man. But I would say you did an awesome job. No, thanks, bro. You know, I, I, I got to return uh, the coot and uh, the the love right back, dude. I mean, the shit you're popping off, man, it's fucking fantastic. Uh, Mr. Sinister is fucking dope. What you did with him, oh, uh, definitely yeah, thanks, one dude. of my favorite supervillains in the X Men universe. So. Yeah, yeah, I, Mr. Senator, and, he, uh, he's, uh, you he's know, badass. Sorry, go ahead. And it's something that I uh, usually don't see a lot of art, you know, a lot of Mr. Sinister fan art, you know, so it's pretty dope, <laughs> dude. Yeah, I know. You know, and it's, unfor I mean, unfortunately, it's not not the most uh, popular of characters, I don't think. I don't think I'll, I, most people who never watch the animated series or read X-Men uh, would have any freaking clue who that character is, <laughs> but um, yeah, I, he's like, yeah, I think oh, he's, a, he's a really cool a character. 
So hopefully, I hope you guys can see this. I can actually can't see how, how well this is coming out. I mean, I got too much light going on. <laughs> do, do, do. I don't know. Actually, is people are people even commenting? And I'm just not seeing them. Maybe the 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 feed's not working. Nope. Nope. That's all right. It's our it's first. Let me let me see if I could. Uh... Is it working? Yeah, it's working. All right, let me uh, ask us questions or say hi. Like on my part, I, I hear a, uh, a small lag. I think there's about one or two second lag time for us. Yeah, I, I, it's definitely noticeable. And I don't know if that's StreamYard because I'm using like their free thing or, or what it is. Or if it's <sighs> – no, I would think uh... – yeah, Mike would be would be dead on. I don't know. Very very weird. I'm not sure what's causing that. To be honest with you, let me uh, let me close some of my background applications in case it's me. Could be the wireless. I don't know. <laughs> but oh, let me let me take a let me take a drink. The same. So cheers, cheers, cheers. Oh, that is good. Oh, that's good stuff. <laughs> I had a, I had a, we were, I was talking about it, this, uh, doing the stream the other day. And, uh, somebody was like, yeah, I think James just wants to drink. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you know, that's, that's not uh, entirely wrong. <clears throat> no, man, All right, I, 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 I dig the idea, dude. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's, it's a chance for 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 us to communicate. It's a ch and honestly, like with COVID and everything that's been going on, it's been it's been tough. And and I don't like have any artistic friends uh, other than my wife. And God bless her. I mean, she she's very artistic and she helps me a lot. Uh, believe it or not, a lot of the stuff you guys, a lot of stuff that the fans don't see is 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 uh, all the help my wife gives me and. And all the uh, the feedback that she gives me, and and I I appreciate every freaking second of it. Well, I don't know if I like this hood. Oh man! Of course, I I picked the hardest character to draw ever. He's literally like crazy detail. What's up, Scarecrow? Is dope, dude. Definitely an underrated character. Yeah, right. How's it going, Armando? Armando asks, what are we drawing? Actually, let me make this up. So we are currently drawing. Uh, I am drawing. Oh, okay. uh, go and see. Uh... Currently drawing characters from um, the Batman universe. I'm currently drawing Scarecrow. I know it's a little hard to see right now. I'd be able to zoom in a little more. Ooh, there we go. That's probably a lot better. Um, and then uh, Zim's drawing Red Hood. Um, we're just just having fun with it. I'm drawing Scarecrow from uh, Batman Arkham Knight because he's this is my favorite version of him. I probably should have drawn in what I want the pose to be first, but yeah, it's whatever. And uh, and also we are drinking uh, drinks. <laughs> I got uh, I got my uh, liquor drink and, and he's got his, um, his plus. yes yes is that is that considered a beer or um, or like well I guess it, yeah it's probably a beer what kind of beer is that like a light beer or dark beer no this is uh, regular beer uh, yeah regular modelo especially I'll just miniaturize. Uh, not, nothing crazy. It's not dark beer and it's not light. I, I wouldn't be able to drink light beer, man. Although I'm <laughs> yeah. a, I'm a bigger guy and uh, that regular beer doesn't really do it anymore for me. I gotcha. Yeah, I, I uh, uh, usually uh, I'm a um, I'm a anti-revolution hero. And yeah. ones. What's, I'm sorry. You, you know broke about up beer. Beer. Uh, That's what I'm into. But if 
uh, the anti-revolution, the anti-heroes. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. The beer anti-heroes. I've not heard of that either. I guess I, I'm not as big into beer as I thought I was. If I drink, <laughs> though, I'm messed up, and I, I got to work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. I know. I can't get uh, – can't go too crazy only because it's because it's Sunday, but got uh Mondo. He, I, I don't know if um, you follow him on um, and now we're gonna eat this. What, what's that? I said, Are we gonna end up inking this or is this just in pencil? Uh, I mean, let's see how it goes. I mean, um. I definitely won't get to that. <laughs> I'm I'm as uh, slow as molasses. I so I don't know if you've seen my my <laughs> speed drawings that I do on YouTube. I have to speed it up seven hundred percent because it is um so uh, I'm so slow. <laughs> all right, so he's got like raggedy clothes. Let me let me move on here. He's got all sorts of crazy stuff on his. Yeah, definitely not with this character. I mean, yeah, if you if you uh, get to the point where you want to start inking, go ahead, dude. I feel like I should have just done a headshot. Maybe I'll just do a headshot. Can we use both sizes? Could do a headshot. Let me restart this. Yeah, like for, for me, I'm just drawing like the shapes. You know, hopefully you guys could see it because I'm in the chat right now, so I could see people chat. I can't have both. So right now I'm in the yeah. chat. I'm in the seeing the comic. So hopefully you guys could see me uh, drawing. All right. Yeah, cool. I can see on my screen. I can see a little bit. If you could zoom in a little bit, that'd be even better. But you can definitely make out what you're drawing. I'm. Uh, Let's see if I could do that. How do I edit? What's that? Oh, you don't know if you can zoom in? Yeah, it's, it's not, probably not a big deal if you can't. Uh, Mondo says he can see what you're doing. Okay. Mondo Ramirez, there you go, bro. He's actually one What's of my that? favorite artists on uh, on Instagram, man. Who's that? Armando. Oh yeah, dude, he's awesome. Yeah, he, I I'm follow dope. him on I follow him on Facebook, and I think I follow him on on Instagram too. But uh, yeah, big shout out to Armando for for anybody else that's watching. Um, Armando, he um, is kickstarting. I actually think it ends today, if I don't recall. He's kickstarting a, a comic book series. I think it's called the Ultra Universe, if I recall. Sorry if I get that wrong, buddy. But um, very cool. Check that out if you haven't. I guess if I if I do a headshot this way, I can concentrate more on on the details. So tell us, man. What what uh in your opinion, what's your biggest hurdle as a, as an artist? I, I know. So for the for again the fans that are watching, you're just um. You're part time, mostly, right? You got a full time job. So what's your what's your biggest hurdle? Uh, biggest hurdle, man. The biggest hurdle would probably be um, uh, well, an artist time management. I guess is a big one. Uh, and that's something that's you know that's outside of. I guess uh, I would put that on the outside of art. You know, uh, it's not really something that. As an artist, that's what we experience. But as a art, that's not like a weak one. That's what I'm trying to say. But a big hurdle is the time management, man. Definitely finding time. Uh, you know, being busy with a full time job, being a father, and and then trying to make a a brand or company. You know what I'm saying? A name for myself. So time management. Oh yeah, right. Number one. Uh, when it comes down to an artist. Yep. Yep. When it comes down to an artist and my skill. Uh, you know, anatomy is always, is always key. And, and uh, as much as I try, sometimes there might be a, 
uh, hands might be off a little bit, you know what I mean? But for the most part, uh, it's something that I consciously uh, practice and uh, and stay aware of, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And it, constantly challenging yourself on a, on a daily basis and, um, and all the other stuff on top of, you know, everything else you're working on at the same time can be, can be very difficult. I'm right there with you. One second. You know, and something I've learned, you know, is uh, just taking it more seriously being an artist is that fundamentals and basics are fucking needed, man. So oh, if yeah. you guys are out there, you guys just started drawing or or if you guys, you know, went on a hiatus and, and are coming back, definitely revisit uh, fundamentals and basics, you know, basic shape structure yep. and stuff like that, you know? Yep. Yep, absolutely. I can agree 100%. And it's something I get I get asked frequently eh, frequently in my in my Facebook groups is, you know, what's 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 the what's the key here? And it's like you know, I don't don't always want to sound like a, a a broken record, but like you know, it's you you got to understand what you're doing and don't get me wrong, I'm I'm no I'm no pro. I think uh oh, I'm I am uh, zoom out a little. I'm no pro. Like I, I still, there are so many things I need to work on, and there are days where even even my fundamentals are not doing great. You know, and so it, it's always it's always a struggle. But it, you got to have that. If you don't have that foundation at all, you're just you're just redrawing something else in a funny way, or you know what I mean. Like so, and, and that's I, I tell that to anybody who ever asks. I'm like, oh, can you teach me? Can you teach me? And it's, well, no, no. I mean, I can, but I'm not not right now. <laughs> I got way too much going on. But you know, feel free to tune in. I, I always drop little hints and tips and stuff on my on my uh, my pages. <clears throat> but yeah, super common. Thing. Huh. No, and you know, and, and aside from that, dude, it. I mean, just the whole society as as a whole you know it's uh, it's something that you know we we just don't have patience anymore you know everybody wants it now we live in an age where everything's handed to us on an instant so you know especially oh, yeah. when it comes down to artists you know a lot of artists they just yeah they just they, they, not, i wouldn't say skip through the art but you know there's a lot of new shortcuts with digital and Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I so I, that's one thing I've been trying to. Uh, I've been thinking about trying to hop into, um, and is um, trying digital, um, because um, just to speed up my workflow a little bit. But yeah, you're right. I mean, I don't know. It's, people can just very quickly, you know, put stuff out uh, through digital. And don't get me wrong; it takes time to learn still too. But yeah, I'm with you. Get some of this stuff on. Yeah. Drink, drink, drink. Now I got a I got a great question for you, man. Sure, um, what's up, dude? As an artist, I as an artist, do you think it's easier to uh transition from uh traditional to digital or from digital to traditional? Uh, you know, that's a tough question because, um, I, I don't do too, too, too much digital. Um, uh, like, like I said, I, it's something I've been trying to, to dabble in here and there. Um, I, I mean, it's definitely, in my opinion, I would say, um, uh, I would definitely say transitioning to digital from physical, uh, but that's because that's going to be my route, you know? Um, but honestly, digital is, is, is there's such a range with digital, like you can actually not have the foundations and come up with this really, you know, goofy way of doing things that you can manipulate over and over again, and it'll work, um, versus, you know, you're drawing on pencil and paper with ink and stuff. It's, it's not quite the case. So I, I would definitely say it's easier to transition. I think if you already have the foundations, um, 
through physical media. But then there's that learning curve. No. Ar Armando asked, mm -hmm. for whatever reason, my, my thing's not ask, working, but Armand, Armando asked, what tools are we using? I, uh, I myself am using a um, Statler Mars uh, drafting pencil. Oh, there it goes. You guys can see that. Um, pretty standard. I think you're using the same thing, right? Uh, yes, sir. I That's the way freaking to go. love the uh, the lead on this. Oh yeah. Yeah, these these are nicer for um, depending on what paper you're drawing on. Obviously, but. Yeah, on the Bristol board, I think they leave a nice effect. You know, you could get in the nice little smooth uh, fill-ins and stuff. And uh, yeah, obviously with pressure, you could make create those darker lines. So I'm gonna attempt to draw this dude's hand. It's gonna turn out like poop, but I'm gonna attempt it. <laughs> I don't know if I have room on here. Did you hear about that uh, Wonder Woman coming on on the 25th of December? Oh, yeah, dude. I'm super excited. That's going to be really fun, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm definitely going to watch out on HBO Max myself. Hopefully, my, uh, my sister-in-law likes to buy all that stuff. Yeah, I think I'm going to have video on demand stuff so hopefully she'll have it <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah i think i i think i might just get it just for that month just so i could see it man yeah definitely i mean i don't really watch a lot of television but yeah i think i think dc is really trying to uh right. Yeah, I think DC is really trying to push into the um, the the digital marketplace much more, and I think this is this is definitely not necessarily because they they think that it's going to do better, but I think they this is their way of testing the waters, um, like doing following the same path as like Marvel and stuff. Oh, I and think gonna, yeah, I think it's a great way. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I don't mind it. I, so I'm like one of those people that like, it is tough for me to justify spending $20 on like, you know, a video on demand thing. But, um, um, I don't know. Yeah. I guess with the comic movies, I, I, I'm a sucker. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I agree, you know, justify, justify 20 bucks, but I feel, you know, I haven't gone to the theater since God knows when, since they closed down, then to be, you know. Oh so, wow! I, mean, it's, I think it's a cheap thing. I mean, now you're oh spending yeah, spending twenty bucks on a single ticket nowadays. You know. I... Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm. I'm. So I'm. Um, I don't know what you want to say. I'm. I'm. Uh, kind of old fashioned. I. I like. I've always loved theaters. It's been. It's been something that my wife and I have done for. Uh, I don't know. Since we've been together, honestly, this is something that we we enjoy doing. So it kind of sucks not being able to do it anymore. We always used to go with our friends, and that was our excuse to get out of the house. Now we don't have one. <laughs> mm. so, all right, this is not... uh, Let me see. Oh my goodness! Who is your? Um, oh, let me check to see anybody. Who are? You, who is your favorite character to draw? My favorite character to draw would have to be Spider Man. Would be what? Spider Man. Spider Man? Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, you can't go wrong with a little Spider Man. Yeah, he's uh. Peter. Yeah, he's my he's my my favorite superhero of all time, man. Yeah, I you know, and it's a lot. I think a lot of people our age are are in the same boat. Like, we grew up on that shit. You know what I mean? Don't 
don't mind the clanking glasses. We uh, I have like pretty much a bar sitting next to me. Oh shit! Nice. Yeah, I think I'm. Uh, <laughs> this is probably the last chug, and then I'm uh, open up the second one. There you go. Ooh, that's unique. All right, I don't know. Should have had a vision on what I was going to do with this first. Armando, you got any questions for us, dude? Or you want to tell us about your, your thing? Actually, let me see. I can probably, you could probably, he can probably pop in if he wants. Let me see. Let's see if anyone wants to join us. Yes, hop in, man. Grab something to drink, hop in. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Right. Yeah, it's kind of just an open forum thing. I don't, you know. And I what, forgot, what, what you know, motivated I, you to do this again? What motivated me? Uh, to be honest, um, just because yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. don't oh, have. Oh, oh, oh. oh, sorry. Go ahead. Did I lose you? Oh, you froze. No, no, I, I didn't say anything. Oh. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, I um, the mo uh, motivation was uh, to be honest. I don't have a lot of interaction with uh, other other um, creatives, so that was kind of my biggest motivation. And I just kind of thought it would be fun to to do. And, and you know, what I mean, if 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 people watch it, cool. If not, I had fun. Hopefully, at the end of the session, um, and hopefully, somebody else did too. And uh, that's that's kind of it, really. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and it gives gives me it's like a like social hour, but for artists, right? So, oh, cool. All right, I gotta let me do this. <laughs> the struggles of a of a uh, an artist terrible at drawing hands. Eh, maybe I don't need to. I really should, though. Um, oh, and, and for those of you who don't know, um, uh, if you've you're tuning in now or tuning in later, check out uh, check out Zim's uh, video podcast that he does. The the chatting with Zim. He um, and actually, so this is the reason I I wanted to invite you first was because of. Um, uh, you, you were the first one that asked me onto your podcast. Um, and you know, I, you know, I think a little bit goes a long way and I, and, uh, to show my appreciation. I wanted you to be my first guest on here and hopefully a returning guest, right? That'd be cool. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate that. No problem. Thank you. And thank you for, um, thank you for coming in, man. I, I appreciate, I appreciate it. But uh, anyways, yeah, yeah, uh, man, I, it, it's funny because uh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, it's and uh, it's it's funny because um, you know, I, at the time you asked me, I was still waiting for a time frame from my guest today, and I was like, oh man, I was like, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, let me see if I could work something out. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, I'm like, hey, at least that little extra half hour. I'm, I might need like ten minutes, but I just needed that extra few minutes to, to set up here man oh yeah and definitely out yeah absolutely yeah i don't have like an official set schedule or anything yet for this or whatever and i think uh, i think just just like with you it'll be it'll be whatever whatever time people have you know it, it's whatever i just as long as I, I just so i have some sort of notification out to the people that do want to maybe tune in or whatever um i gotta be honest it's a weird thing but thursdays seem to be my biggest um, days that people actually do want to come in and, and chat and hang out versus the weekend days. Probably because people are hanging out with their family or whatever, but that's all right. I'll share the heck out of this. I'm also in the middle. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if I, I, I might not, I might not be on Facebook platform very much longer um, as, as far as in doing the videos. I'm thinking about hopping over to um, hopping over to the, to the tube officially but okay you know, yeah it's one of those things that like 
I don't want to make my current fans upset, but I don't uh, I don't get traction on Facebook, and I don't know if it's because Facebook wants you to pay or and same thing with Instagram. Like people, uh, and maybe maybe it's just my uh, I don't know. People don't like what I'm putting out, and that's fine too. But gotta try it. Gotta figure to try it out. That's what I've been doing with the um, the speed drawing videos. Um, is been attempting to do that. But yeah, I think uh, you know that that's one of the reasons why I'm actually revamping my brand a little bit. Um, yeah, just because it's like okay, I've been on Instagram for the for the longest. Uh, I don't really fit into like a specific genre. Like I don't, I love Power Rangers, but I don't think I could keep drawing Power Rangers for the rest of my art career for like a full year to get the fans, you know? Yeah. Uh, to me, it's not about fans. I just want to draw what I like and oh, yeah, definitely. like it and, and dope, you know? Uh, now that I want to, you know, make a career out of it or make some money out of it, then I definitely got to market myself right. So I think some of the things for us artists is the hardest part is finding the niche, but the best thing is utilizing the tools that we have. And um, for example, I think that uh, uh, face is, is there's one, there's no kids there anymore. Uh, you want fans, you guys want to blow up, go to where the, you know, the young generation is at, uh, you got yeah. your TikTok, that's popping. Um, uh, for me, since I'm more of a nostalgic artist, I know that my kid is mainly, uh, Instagram, but I think I have to hit the YouTube or the Facebook market or the Facebook audience, because that's where people my age are ending up, you know, Facebook is yeah. for us, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm with the you. 90s, but yeah, I'm with you on that one for sure. So as far as um, now, then you got your teenagers; they're on TikTok. Oh yeah, dude, TikTok, TikTok is like um, young adults on Instagram. TikTok is the new hotness, and I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea why. I mean, I guess it's kind of cool, but like, I don't know, the way it works is weird. Yes, and Armando, thank you for asking. He says, Facebook is trash, Instagram and YouTube are better. Also, maybe with Twitch, biggest part is figuring out what you want to do, whether it's an inker, pencil, sequential, or prints, etc. Yeah, and I, 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 that actually leads me into my next question for you, Zim. Um, what, what is your preference, dude? What do you like to do? What do you like doing color? Do you like doing inking? Do you like doing... Um, I mean, obviously, you're right. You like you like drawing the the stuff that you like to draw. But if you had a preference, and you and somebody said Marvel or DC or Image came and approached you and said, "Hey, we have a job for you. Uh, you can either be a penciler, or an inker, or an inker or a colorist. What would you choose?" Oh man, I think at this point in my career, I think it would have to be color. Yeah. I, uh... Yeah, I, I think that's where I'm at, man. I love color. I love color. Uh, I love applying it traditionally. You know what I mean? I got I got my two favorites, or actually three favorite mediums. Mm -hmm. uh, watercolors, acrylics, and alcohol markers. So yeah. I could do a lot of damage, man. I think that, I think that my, my colors is one of my, my strong fields in, in, in my art that I do, man. Yeah, that's cool, man. Very cool, yeah. And that that like I said, dude, that that last piece. Yeah, dude, yeah. That was, what about your really, man? That was really popping. Uh, if I had to choose, honestly, if if they approached me and said, you know, they said that, I would say I would definitely say probably a penciler. I hate my inks and I hate my uh, I hate my colors. <laughs> I think uh, as far as colors go, I mean, <laughs> at, at my level I am now is maybe I'm too hard on myself and I think we all are sometimes is uh, I think it's trash. Mm. Yeah, man. I, I never downplay it like that, man. It, it's always, you're always learning, you know? Unless oh, yeah. you've been coloring the same way for like two, three years and definitely, yeah, it might be time to 
call it quits, but for the most part, you know, it's a, it's always a learning curve. And every time we're, we're always going to start from the beginning, dude. Yeah. 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 I, I agree. Man, yeah, Thank you. I, um, yeah. And I, I try to make every thing, every time that I do something, I try to make sure that I'm somehow challenging myself in some way, whether it's, it's comfortable or uncomfortable. Um, because otherwise I don't think like, I just feel like I'm not growing as well as I could if I'm, if I'm, you know, not challenging myself. I think that's all it is about, about being an artist is making sure that you're, you're consistently challenged. Uh, cause otherwise, yeah, you just, you just get too comfortable and then you become this comfortable artist never improving i mean even even the great dave finch himself says 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 the same thing you know always improve always look to improve and i think from my perspective yeah, I, I, maybe uh, i'm cocky but i think we both are doing that go ahead sorry buddy No, and, um, yeah, I think, you know, you, 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 you spoke on being comfortable and getting into that spot. I think when you, uh, when you become comfortable as an artist, especially at the beginning stages, I think that's where it's time to say, okay, let me go on and try something new, you know? Yeah. I, I yeah, know right. a lot of people, a lot of artists that I've seen on Instagram who get comfortable and they stay there and their art never improves. And it's like, yeah. it's cool, don't get me wrong, but it just depends. It goes back to what your purpose or your end goal is. You know, if you just want to do art and make it a hobby, then by all means, do what you're doing. But if you're trying to reach a different level and there's always new uh, new things to improve, new things to go and visit and try out and, you know, experiment. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Yeah. And Armando says, uh, TikTok is great. My wife has one, and all the people she follows are awesome. That's good to hear, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, as with anything, there's always good people and bad people, <laughs> right? I mean, but uh, yeah, I've gotten mostly so far in the stuff I've put on there, I've gotten mostly positive, positive stuff. Um, I, I do feel slightly ashamed for having a TikTok account, but um. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about exposure. I think. I, I mean, once I get to that level that I I want to be, that I I feel like I I could be a comic artist. You know, I need to have that exposure. And I think with the the new like like uh, Zim was saying, with the new generation that that's here. You know, I mean, we kind of have to approach that because the new generation are probably not far off from the people that are going to be hiring us in in X amount of years. Yeah. There you go. And like I said, it's a, it's a, it's just in the market it's happening, man. You know, uh, especially if you're trying to make a name for yourself, you definitely want to uh, go ahead and uh, try to reach out as many uh, many you know many of these things as possible, man. Uh, I, you know, yeah. Armando mentioned Twitch earlier. You know, Twitch is dope. Discord is another great. Form that helps out, you know, help out, and yeah, to utilize it, and yeah, man, yeah. What, um, by the way, what, what made you choose Instagram as, as yours, if you mind me asking? Was that just where you kind of started yourself? I chose and, Inst and went from there. No, no, and it's actually. It's actually a funny story, man. So let me take you back to uh, 2017, the summer of 2017. Uh, I've been on a hiatus for about eight years, seven, eight years, because my daughter was born. Mm -hmm. uh, I went on a hiatus, and my, my brother, he's uh, like, hey, man, uh, I noticed you haven't done stuff with your art. Yeah, you should really get back on it. Uh, try going on, on, on Facebook and making something, you know, because that's what we were using. Uh, so I'm like, okay, Facebook, and I had my page. I called it uh, Mr. Martin's Gallery. Uh, Martin is my middle name. Oh, okay, uh, cool. And I'm like, okay, 
I had a little bit of success, not, not nothing too much, you know. And uh, my brother came. He's like, "Hey, bro, you got to change this shit. It, it sounds like an old man's gallery there." You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, he's all like, "You, you got to give it." You know, hey, Mister Martin's gallery, come, come check us out, Mister Martin's gallery. Get your tickets now, folks. You know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, all right, cool. So I gave myself the names, you know, Zim Zimma, man. And that name came from an old friend in high school. Uh, I used to be a graffiti artist and uh, I used to write Zimmer, Z M E R. And every this guy would see me in the hall, he would always go, hey, Zim Zimma. So I'm like, okay, this, it flows off the tongue, you know? Yeah. It's catchy. Uh, so I went. So I'm like, okay, let me let me start and let me do other platforms. So I hit up in, uh, hit up Instagram, and uh, lo and behold, man, there's like, like a million other Zim Zimmas. Oh, really? You know, coming from a graffiti world, you know, yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Wow. Um, there's actually a song called Zim Zimma. Uh, it's produced by a guy called Beanie Man. Okay. And uh, some of the fa famous lyrics is Zim Zimma, who got the keys to my bima. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's cool. So, That's funny. so that being said, I'm like, okay, yeah. There's there's a million other Zimmers, uh, Zim Zimmers out there. I'm like, well, I'm like, I need to stand out from the rest. And coming from a graffiti world, uh, world, when you choose a name, you got to choose a name. And sometimes many other artists, graffiti artists, are gonna have the same name. But the point of the game is to see who could get their names. Uh, uh, recognize the most, and whoever does that is officially who the real, you know, whatever name you are is, you know. So I'm yeah. like, okay, I'm like, I see a bunch of other Zim Zimmas, or they look like a bunch of kids. And I'm like, I'll, I'll be the real Zim Zimma and shit, you know. So yeah, that's awesome. Went with that, man, and and ever since then, ever since then on Instagram, I just success. Uh, you know, I want to thank the the cosplaying world. Because that, that was what pretty much started my name up a little bit, you know? Yeah. Um, I used to sell a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, um, what are they called? Cosplaying commissions. Uh, they wanted me okay. to draw their portraits and costumes. So that kind of, that's skyrocketed my name a little bit, man. That's awesome, dude. And that's how I landed there. Very awesome. That's very cool. That's yeah, man. Fun hey, Mr. Mark Gallery, man. I, that, yeah, that's, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is funny. Sounds like an old man's gallery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's a, can you believe that shit? The audacity. <laughs> oh, <he's> mother. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's, that is funny, though. Yeah, it's good that you got he's you know, all, yeah, uh, trying, he call you out. Be nice about it. Was he? That's funny. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Yeah, yeah. Try to be nice. He's like, yeah, um, no offense, but it sounds like an old guy's gallery. <laughs> so, like, you're not going to attract anybody. Yeah, that's funny. He's a, you know, he, that's what I love him. Uh, he's blatantly honest, but at the same time, he's good at what he does. He knows marketing. And, uh, oh, yeah, he's a marketer, huh? I'm revamping my, uh, uh, my brand. You know what I mean? So Yeah, that's awesome. That's very cool. And I mean, you if you could have you. somebody, you know, market you better and help you out, and especially for free, man, then by all means. Oh, I know. Yeah, I, I pretty much, I mean, I'm nowhere near, you know, successful as when it comes to that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, all that stuff I, I do, I like web development and all the other stuff, that's all self-taught. I taught myself all that stuff. I'm one of those kind of guys. It's, um, you know, I don't have a whole lot of people in my life that um, do other things. So I, you know, I'm one of those kind of people that's like, well, I don't have anybody else to help me do it. So I'm just going to have to do it myself. But that's, that's super awesome, dude. And that's, it's always good to have that kind of support and, and friend, friends that can do, do stuff like that for you, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, you know, I have definitely actually looked blessed. Yeah, that's just that's awesome. 
How's how's it turning out? I haven't, lo haven't looked here. Let me take a look. It is turning out. That looks good, dude. Fantastic there. Yeah, it looks awesome, man. Very awesome. I like the shading. It's gonna be a lot of a lot of shadow, uh, especially, his, especially his jacket. Thank you, sir. You using um? Yours uh, is coming out it as well. Two two H or oh, thank you. I I you know what? Honestly, I'm using the stock layer, so whatever it is. Yeah, I think I think it comes with two H. So. Yeah, yeah, I think it's 2H it comes with. Uh, let me establish my lighting source here. Who's your um who's your favorite artist? Favorite artist, man. Ha. Ah, Jeez. You know what? Um It's gonna have to. I'm gonna have to say, uh, Todd McFarlane, dude. Yeah, Todd. Uh, before him, if you would have asked me maybe six months ago, I would have told you, at, yeah, I would have told you at Ross six months ago. Nah, not anymore, man. Wait, who? I'm sorry, I missed the other one. Alex Ross. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. The real, the realist artist. Yeah, man, he, his work is amazing, man. Yeah, I, so I don't know. I've always, uh, but yeah, Todd McFarlane. Just... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Uh huh. No, no, you go, man. You you always what? You going? Oh, I, I I can't I can't honestly say I've ever I've actually been a, a big fan. I um I don't know. I I just have a. I have a weird thing with with um, artists who do realism for whatever reason. I I just I don't know. <laughs> I think it's a different it's a different mindset. So, but uh, yeah, he's he's super talented though. Don't get me wrong. I I feel I still think it's impressive as hell that you can take uh, something that's fictional and make it look like it's real life. So that is crazy. But I've, I've never been a fan. But, uh, yeah, yeah. No, his what? uh for Alex Ross, his uh his colors are definitely what did it for me. His painting style, you know, the realism itself. Uh for me it was awesome because you know, uh, that's I found him when I was in high school, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I used to be into like the Wizard magazine and that's when I was transitioning into being from pencil to ink to actually working with color, you know, the introduction of color into my art. Uh, was because of the graffiti world, you know. I used to do graffiti for a while, so graffiti, it's all colors. You know, basic outline, and then you color it in, and then you go, you do what you got to do, man. So uh, this was the guy who, who took colors to a whole new level. Uh, this was style that I've never seen before back in the day. I was like, holy crap, this, this looks real, and, and it's amazing, you know. And yeah. when you're watching, when you're flipping through some page in Wizard, uh, you know, sometimes you come across these articles where it's like, okay, well, let's take an in-depth look on what he does, and and I was like, okay, man, this this guy's awesome. And the the Marvels, I think the uh, the graphic novel Marvels, that's what did it for me, dude. Oh yeah, nice. What um what made you decide? What what changed your mind? Uh, that that uh, Todd's your favorite now? Is that documentary? Yeah, uh, so the real one, I mean, not only did he create my second favorite comic book uh, character, uh, yeah. Uh, Spawn. Yeah. Uh, but on top of on top of that, uh, you know, aside from his talent, dude, I really admire, uh, one, his business, uh, his business mind, uh, you know, the way the way he thinks of himself, he's like, "Hey, I didn't really do anything crazy, you know, to to make myself or uh, 
make a name for myself and like let's say toys for example you know i pretty much and he's like i did the same thing with comic books i took what existed already and i just gave it a a sexier look you know in his words you know i gave it a cooler look this looks a lot more badass so and i'm like man that is so that is so dope because you know it's like it's not there's no secret to it it's it's nothing like brain surgery and mm-hmm. anybody could do it. And on on top on, on top of that, this guy, you know, uh just hearing him talk, dude, you know, hearing him talk, he's he looks like he's very humble. Um might get a pain in the ass to work with here and there, but you know that that's that's um that work for you, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm right there with you, dude. You and, know, and on saw... top of that, you know, he has a big love for, for family and yeah, you you could you could tell that in that uh, documentary about the family thing. Like he he definitely, um, definitely you know appreciates his wife and appreciates his family. And you know I feel the same way sometimes because like my uh, you know my wife gets the hard end of the stick because she's got to sit here and support me. And and you know what I mean. Like don't get me wrong, I uh, you know she's got to work full time and everything like that, and I do too, obviously. But you know what I mean. She has to be. She has to be my strong backbone, even when sometimes when she doesn't want to be. And I give her mad. I I give her mad props. And hopefully she's not listening. No, <laughs> but um, seriously, um, you know, it's, it's well, <laughs> family is important, dude. Yeah, man. Well, there you go. Cheers to the the women in our life for supporting our bullshit and. And our struggles and still being there, man. Yeah, absolutely. 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 You know, they say that behind every good man, there's a great woman. So. Bam. There you go. I'm going to start dropping that. <laughs> every time she's like, ah, I'll be like, listen, this yeah, I'm slowly working my way. Yeah, I'm just still penciling in these details. Sometimes, sometimes if I get into a piece, I spend way too much time on it. But I also like, I watch David Finch now so much that I like, um, I'm like, I have that mindset. Like, what would David Finch do? What would David Finch do? He would keep going, man. <laughs> Yeah, David. David has slowly become my my uh, my personal favorite artist um, because he's so freaking humble and like oh, yeah. he just why is that? He, he's he's so so humble and like with every all the content and stuff he's been putting out, like you can tell he's just got a love for the genre. He's got a love for the people that want to be in the genre too. You know? Okay. Yeah. And I kind of wish I was... I wish I was Canadian. Canadians are... are (laughs) Nice people. They're so nice. Oh, man. I think we lost... We lost Mondo. I think he left. That's what I heard, man. But, um... Yeah, dude. All right. Probably going to tie this up pretty soon. Oh, my gosh. How long did you, uh, were you thinking about doing this for, the, the live? Well, it's been, what, about an hour now? Uh, yeah, an hour seems to be a pretty good, good sketch of time, I think. <coughs> I don't know. What do you think? You you almost set with your your uh, doodle or? Yeah, I mean, I don't think I'm gonna do everything, so I'm pretty much just gonna give him like a nice little bust here, you know? Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, I think and, this is about it for me. And then fill that in. Word up, dude. Yeah, we could probably we could probably 
call it quits. Maybe we'll call it a one-hour segment. I think that's fine. This is the first first segment, so I mean, know, if you want to, it's an experiment. Yeah, if you want to go longer, man, I'm I'm down to go. But it, it's pretty cool, man. Or, or, yeah, I think we'll we'll call it we'll call it a night. Um. And uh, is there anything you want to tell your fans or my fans or or, or, or name drop or project dropped or or whatever, man? Oh, uh, the all uh, the good stuff here, all the uh, promos. Uh, well, oh yeah, promo uh, time. Ooh, isn't the promo time? <laughs> You'll definitely find me here. Yeah, here on Instagram at the real underscore Zimzima. You'll find me on TikTok at the real Zimzima. One word. Um, you definitely find me on uh, chatting with Zim on YouTube. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, all that fun jazz. And uh, you'll also find the crew that I'm with, uh, Monster Clan. Uh, and we also have a website, monstersarc.com, so check us out. And, awesome. Uh, yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Follow me. Follow me. I got big things ahead. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of uh, prints coming out soon of some of the awesome work that I do. So keep tuning in for that, man. And, awesome. Uh, thank yeah. you. Thanks, James, for, for allowing me to, to be on here. And uh, I had an awesome time. I'm feeling a little tipsy, so I'm back in <laughs> there. <laughs> hey, that's good to hear, man. I, I, you know, I appreciate you coming on. I know it wasn't a super active stream. We'll definitely have you on again um, if ever this picks up. <laughs> um, and I, I hope it does. I, I'd like to do this maybe once per month or once every other week. I'm not sure yet. But uh, thank you so much for being a guest on the show. And thank you again, dude, uh, honestly, for, for you know, even just reaching out to interview me, you know, when we, when we, when we chatted months ago. If you are ever looking for a filler for your show, I mean, do definitely hit me up. I'm always game. And, um, yeah, I mean, everybody definitely go check out Zim Zimma. He's got some really awesome work. He does some really cool stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, with the whole rebranding thing, I mean, there's probably a lot of cool stuff to come. Um, and also, don't forget to check my site out, uh, sketchingthebeast.com. I'll probably have an excerpt of this this video, this live live drawing on there as well, with along along with some uh, other cool stuff. And uh, I will also be doing a Christmas giveaway here very, 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 very soon. Um, I'm just waiting on the stuff to get in. So um, stay tuned on the Facebooks and the Instagrams and all that jazz. Uh, and, uh, you know, stay tuned and, and make sure that you follow me and make sure you follow Zim uh, because uh, we got we both have a lot of cool stuff coming. And uh, again, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me, Zim. I appreciate it, man. You uh, you have a great night. And uh, again, if you ever want to just chat, dude, hit me up. Yeah, for sure, man. And uh, you know, just real, real quick. Um, yeah, man. I uh, I always love to have uh, uh, old friends come back or whenever you're ready. If I fill you in uh, December, I I'm gonna have some time off work. Uh, let's get you in there, and we could go go ahead and help promote this as well. So, heck yeah, dude. About, man. Yeah, definitely, man. Yeah, uh, let me know what you have. What you have free, man. I, I, pencil me whenever. I'm free. You know, you know my schedule, so definitely. <laughs> and uh, also, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, yeah, this definitely. piece will be. Yeah, you're on the schedule then, December. Cool, sweet, sweet. And uh, yes, this, these pieces I'm sure will be for sale. Uh, Zim will have it on his page, Instagram page, if you're interested. Um, and this piece, uh, my piece here will be uh, available for sale on my page as well. So just message me if you're interested. Um, and, uh, that'll be it. Uh, you guys all have a fantastic rest of your night. Stay creative y'all. Peace out. Trust the process. <laughs>